Yes. Yeah, I was meaning to record something just pointed at me. So I was saying on the third remember how I told you I'm all hardcore? You'd never told me you were all I hardcore. was supposed to be really hardcore. That's when? why I figured when I go to Ladakh, like yeah. I'll really fit in because you know it's a hardcore place. But, I don't know what do you mean hardcore? Out, how are you defining this? But turns out and I have to cut the like the scene I shot in the Oh you were talking <laughs> to like oh you were So, <clears throat> this is day four of the trip. Day four, we left Tuesday night, which means when, one, Thursday, four. Day five, this is day five of the trip, and we're back in Leh, the main city. Let me give you a little breakdown of what the trip's been like by far. So we started off, uh, first two nights we spent in Leh, and uh, my aunt's son's friend was in the army and, and insisted that we stay at the army guest house. So we did that. <laughs> Probably the most beautiful, beautiful property we could find to stay at, and, and it was a very interesting experience. The third night we were at Nubra Valley, where also we stayed at the army guest house, which was amazing again. Fourth night we stayed at the army guest house in Pangong Lake, which was also amazing. But that was just one problem with all these places. It's just that I'm a brat. Like, I am a full on spoiled, snobbish city brat. I don't like it, but it is just what it is. I'm used to my, my bed and my room and the warmth of my room and the comfort and the toilet and having a car and it, just having no struggles to deal with whatsoever. But people in the army, they're hardcore. They're not wimpy like me. So while having most of the amenities that one does need, I mean guest houses are quite quite hardcore especially because the surrounding area is so cold. The way they think is just that what would a human basically need to spend a couple nights here and they get that stuff in which that would be a comfortable bed, that would be a comfortable room, all that and then if it gets extremely cold there's a heater but like you know what rough it out guys it's just it's cold around here deal with the cold water it's cold around here deal with it being super cold in a room. That's not very, uh, it just wasn't really easy to deal with with us. Especially like the third night and the fourth night. And the altitude of Leh is like 11,000 feet. And like Pangong Lake and Mubra Valley were I think 14,000 feet or above. And there it got like crazy freezing at night. And there was a mouse in our room both nights. And it just got a lot to deal with after some bad time. I mean, I thoroughly enjoyed the experience. The food was so good, but... <sighs> Just couldn't deal with it. Because it's been so cold, look at me, I'm wearing the same clothes for the third day in the row. Because when we left from Leh, we left some of our stuff back here. I took clothes to change, but I had to be wearing like just the right amount of warm clothes at all times. I was so lazy with the cold, I haven't had a shower in five days. Quite disgusting. I have not changed my clothes. Look at me. My jeans have gotten way more ripped than they actually were. And I mean, uh, I ripped these jeans myself, but they've just gotten a lot worse now. I'm wearing the exact same clothes again, the same the same hoodie, the same t-shirt inside. I feel disgusting. So, this time we got back to late, it was just like, uh, we couldn't do it anymore. So, we, we just got the first room we could find at the coziest hotel around here. And it's it's honestly quite nice. Hmm. They have a really comfy bed. There's a television. They've got this cool seating area. <laughs> A cool shower, a toilet with a bum shower, this incredibly comfortable heater, and the coolest of them all is that they have Wi Fi, which is incredibly rare because in Ladakh, barely anybody has Wi Fi, first of all, and secondly, it is always slow. So, this Wi Fi is also incredibly slow, but it's Wi Fi, which is crazy. Whew. But that, that, but that wraps up my incredible room tour and uh, I don't want to sound so snobby but it just turns out I'm not as hardcore as I thought. And just having this kind of comfort, being able to chill on a comfortable bed, warming my feet and hands at a heater, it's just amazing. I'm gonna take a shower now or tomorrow morning because I don't wanna get a cold by showering at night. But like, the trip's been absolutely wonderful except for this bit which I haven't really spoken that much about. So I figured I'll give you an update. Yeah, I could possibly upload the probably one vlog by tomorrow morning which I highly doubt would even happen. But I feel like if I do that now, I'll just lose the flow. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back home and over the next seven days, I'm gonna do a story time for each day. I think it'll look a lot cooler and integrate it with my day. I wanna see how it figures out. But aside from all that, Ladakh has been absolutely amazing. More than any, more than any, more than anything, like it's really helped to do exactly what Ladakh's supposed to do. Find yourself. I spent these six days 
pretty much as detached from my regular city life as could be and being out here and away from all that has really helped clear my head and figure out how to move forward with all my businesses which is why I feel like I'm so ready to go back and just kill it and I see such a clear vision now with everything else that I saw earlier but like now the path is so much cleaner and so excited and happy with what's happened but that's about it for today guys hit the like button hit the subscribe button join the family uh, huh. but I think that that's about it for today it's been, an, it's been a chill day I've been relaxing all day I'll show you the rest of the hotel I'll show you more of Ladakh tomorrow and uh, yeah thank you for watching good night